Hey loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today, well yesterday, I asked you guys to ask me or to assume some stuff about me. Now I knew that I was walking into some negativity and a lot of positivity. I already knew that but I'm curious to know what your assumptions are about me. So I proceeded and guys some of the things you guys said about me like is, do you guys like like me or like do you guys hate me like I don't understand <laughs> so I don't understand if, like I know that there's people that like follow me or just like come like stumble upon onto my page and like randomly say something like they probably don't know me so I, I did I did not take any of these assumptions seriously well the negative ones or the ones I thought were negative they're, they're not like super negative but you know I just feel like the people who assume wrong are just people who are like new to my to my like Instagram don't really know about my YouTube channel uh, don't really know much about me so I figured like don't take this serious Claudia like this is just for fun gonna do a video on it don't take it serious anyways let's jump into the assumptions guys because some of these assumptions are just like hilarious okay Okay, so the first assumption is, and I'm gonna put the thing right here, I'm gonna blur out the name, I'm not gonna like put people out there, you know. Okay, the first one is, you like to dance. Yes, I love, love, love to dance. Ever since like I was a little girl, I've always loved to dance. When I started gaining weight, um, I had family who, who I'd be like at a party and I'd, be, and I'd be dancing and they would just like blur out like, Ah, oh, mira. Está gordita, pero es, es buena para bailar. Like, basically, like, like she can, like, even though she's a big girl, she can dance, you know? But, like, you don't take, in a Hispanic family, you don't really take things like that really serious. Well, to me, I wouldn't take it serious. I would just, like, laugh about it. Um, I think it sounds worse in English than it, do, than it does in Spanish. I think a lot of things um, sound worse in English than they do in Spanish. Because in Spanish, a lot of things, like, we say, like, we joke around. But, like, you don't really take serious. Okay, the next one says, uh... Your assumption about me is low-key Latina attitude, and absolutely, absolutely, I do have that uh, Latina attitude. I'm really, really nice, but a girl can get down too. This assumption said, you're married. Excuse me? Excuse me? Where, girl? Where? Because um, I don't see a ring. I don't see a man. Not married. Um, matter of fact, still single. Actually 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 see like okay I'm talking to someone okay but I, I don't want to say anything yet until like it's really serious then I'm gonna definitely let you guys know the the tea you know like I will definitely always be the one to let you guys know right away if I'm engaged if I'm married if I'm with somebody but at the moment I am talking to someone and um we'll just see how it goes okay, this one says uh, you're a freaky girl can't deny that. Not gonna deny that. Your assumption is right. I am very, very freaky. Uh, I am very freaky. <laughs> and I feel weird about saying that, but yeah. The next one is, you love to spend money. Girl, what money? What money? Your girl got money. All, all of my money, guys, all my money goes to bills. Your girl got loans. She still gotta pay off. Student loans. So, no, I, I mean, I spend money on what is necessary. Like, if I want to do a plus size haul or, like, so I, it's not more, it's more of a, like, investing than spending money. Because, like, honestly, I'm not living lavishly. So, it's not like I'm blowing money away uh, for an unnecessary reasons. I am a mom. So, spending money, like, I really have to think about how I'm spending my money. Because like I said, or if you guys are new to my channel, I do have a daughter. I am a single mom. Her father is deceased. Deceased. So I work very, very hard for my money. Um, and every where my money goes is like her food, you know, food for the for the house, uh, clothes for her, shoes, whatever it is that we need. Um, I don't get government assistance. I don't get any of that. So. I really take care of make sure that I spend my money the right way. This one, next one says you're nice as almost too nice, but you still, <laughs> but you will also up <laughs> who comes at you sideways at the same time. Yes, I am very very nice. I am very very nice. Uh, I'm very nice to everyone. I always approach everybody in a very positive way. I'm of light, peace, and love. 
but if somebody comes at me sideways or I start noticing a negative something about them then I do change so if, if I have to snap back I will snap back I do have the Latina in me I do have the attitude in me I think that I have this like defensive mechanism in me or like I go on defensive mode from like being alone for so long in my life like I've always had to like stick up for myself like because nobody has like ever sticked up for me in my, like in my past like uh, growing up like with bullies and stuff like you with my family like I've, I've always been the one to like stick up for myself so I learned how to stick up to myself and I don't take from nobody like no you right girl I don't take from nobody nobody should take crap from anybody period and I also t teach that to my daughter like I make sure that she's not the one to start any crap you know but if like anybody ever comes at her like sideways um and nobody is there to defend her defend her girl you but do your thing girl <laughs> not like fight like absolutely not but like defend herself verbally or go look for help or anything like that but yes yes I I will I will make sure you catch these hands <laughs> you're done having babies okay now this one okay like i i said this like in a few videos ago that i was done having babies but honestly okay like i can't say you can't never say never okay like my choice i'd be like no i'm never gonna have kids again but that's me thinking as a single person as somebody who feels like i'm 28 this is it for me there's nobody out there i'm single this is my life I'm never having kids again. That's 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 me thinking that. But now, this dude out here had me thinking about having kids. Okay, um, so maybe. And you know what's funny? I asked my sister in law the other day. Like we were we were at the store, we were at Kohl's, and we were in the baby section. And I asked her, I'm like, do you see me? And I want to ask you guys, do you guys see me? Like holding a baby or having a baby or being like hey guys i'm pregnant someday like do you guys see that like do you guys see that in me like sometimes i try to think because like okay when i had valerie i had a very hard time at the beginning um i don't know if it was postpartum depression but like i had a really hard time accepting that i was a mom like i i could i didn't know how to i didn't know how to love her i, I don't know that even doesn't even sound right obviously i love her with all my heart and she's she's my life she's my light she's everything i would do anything for her trust me i would i would do anything for my daughter you know i love her but at the beginning i don't know if it was postpartum but i was like very depressed uh i, I was just having a really hard time adapting to being a mother so like uh, thinking about being a mom again, like I wonder if I would feel this again, but maybe I felt like that because I was, like I felt alone. I don't know, but um, I mean, it's something to think about, you know, like, but having another baby, I mean, some guys will have you thinking all types of things, you know, maybe. <laughs> Okay, this one's also really funny. This one says, you like black dudes. I do. I do like. I like all kinds of dudes, okay? Uh, Hispanic, black, white, Asian, all, all types, okay? Puerto Rican. I don't have a preference. As long as you got it together, as long as you have your life together, you got some goals, something that I can be like, all right, cool, we're going to be well set off, you know? We're going to build a really good a good future. That's That's all that matters to me, you know? Okay, this one made me laugh as well. This one says, when you say you have an eight all day to do a video, it's a lie. You, you guys know when I film mukbang and I'm like, um, I have an eight all day. It is 100% true. I have never been able to film a video, sit down, eat the food, and then eat again. Like I legit don't eat for an entire day because I'm not hungry throughout that entire like period. Like fast food is good to me once in a while but like filming mukbang it was just overwhelming um so yes it is true i would like literally not eat for a whole day before filming filming mukbang just so like and also like you could tell like the way you eat the food the way you see somebody eat the food you could tell that they haven't ate for a long a while now if i'm sitting there and i eat like the burger is good what's up then you could tell that like i haven't ate but Trust me, I when I film mukbang, I want to make sure that you guys see how delicious that bite was. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't know. I like seeing mukbangers that like starve themselves all day and then eat and then they eat so delicious. It's like, you know? Okay, you seem like a good, you seem like a very cool person. I would love to meet you. Oh, thank you. I I got so many of these guys. I love you guys so much. And just know, if you guys ever see me in the street, hey, Claudia, is that you? Hey, what's up, girl? Say, say holla at me. Holla at me for a dollar. Not for a dollar. Not like, for, not for a dollar. Like, just holla at me. Like, hey, what's up, girl? You struggle with sticking to a plan. Okay, now. The only plan that I've stuck, that I've struggled sticking to is a diet plan because it's hard to lose weight, guys. I cannot express to you how hard it is to lose weight. If you're overweight, you've been trying to lose weight, and you know, you, you can relate. Like, if you can relate that the struggle is real. Some people, though, like, they want to lose weight, and they commit, and they lose the weight, and I wish I could be like that. I wish... I could be like that because I would have lost the weight a long time ago. But everybody's different, so everybody's journey is different. Some might take 10 years, some might take five, and some might even just take a whole year. I really want to have that consistency and determination like for me to stick with me nonstop. Like, trust me, that there's nothing in the world that I wish. But any anything other than that, like with my diet, like any plan that I've ever like put into my head, I have done. Like for example, five years from now, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Like I wasn't where I was at. Like now I'm financially have progressed definitely. And I made that plan to like, that I would be financially better in the future. And I have stuck with the plan and I keep sticking to the plan. I am a work in progress, but um, I've made goals in the past that I have like, slowly achieved it might not be through weight loss that's only the only thing that i've really had a hard time uh, sticking to but i know that i'll get it someday and whether it's tomorrow or a few years from now, like i'm gonna i'm gonna get it i believe in myself i'm not gonna stop because if i would have like if if i would stop then that means that like i'm done with it like i'm done but no i will continue to fight okay you make being a mom having a full-time job and doing YouTube look so easy. Girl, yes, but behind cameras is a lot of uh, hard work and sweat. I work my butt off. Um, everything that I, where I'm at now has not been easy to achieve, especially because I, like I said, I'm, it's just me taking care of my daughter like 100%. So I pay, I pay the bills, I pay the whole rent, and it's not cheap. Um, it's not cheap. That's all I have to say. It's not cheap. It, it, and so I have to work super, super, super hard to be able to provide all this for myself and my daughter. Um, it looks easy because you guys only see what I put out in a video and that's it. But honestly, like it's very time consuming. So everything that I do, I have to plan and uh, just work very, very hard at. But it's definitely not easy. I know it looks easy through the cameras, but I, I, I promise you guys behind the scenes, I'm <laughs> behind the scenes like, <laughs> in, like an actor or something. Um, behind the camera, I work very, very hard. Like I legit work a 12 hour shift job, night, night shift job, just so I could have what we have, literally. Like I have to work double as if like, I have to work double in order for me to be able to like provide all of this for me and my daughter. So yeah. This one's funny. You sit on your bed after you shower with a towel on your head scrolling through Instagram. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. That you're tall in person. Um, I'm five foot seven. Uh I think that's average. I don't think I'm really, really I don't think I'm tall. My best friend is tall. I think she's like six feet. Um She's very tall, but I think I'm average. You're a really good mom and your daughter comes to you for advice. Yes, and thank you so, so much. Yes, um, growing up, I wasn't able to come to my mom for advice because she was very like strict. I felt like I was very afraid to come to her for anything, so I would always hide a lot from her. Um, so I always talked to Valerie, let her know that she can come to me for anything to never be afraid of telling me anything, even if I get mad or whatever. 
it's okay like we could we got to talk about things like if there's something bothering her i just want her to know and feel like it's okay to come with me just because like i couldn't go to my mom so it's very important that she does that so i could help her with anything or deal with any emotions or problems that she might be having at school or with friends or or with herself like whatever it is you know so yes she definitely can and she definitely does i get this one a lot i thought you were a guera hashtag white girl for the longest time i get that a lot i get that assumption a lot that uh first first impression like not uh for like when you first met by someone they'll be like they'll think i'm a white girl but then like when i i'm like blah, 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 you know i start boasting on my spanish they're like you know spanish and i'll be like yeah i'm mexican and they'll be like what i thought you were a white girl and i get that all the time like all all the time so not surprised you thought that girl that you're so independent and dead set on building a great life for y'all that you refuse to settle yes absolutely um like i said i'm a hard worker and i have goals in mind that i'm gonna achieve someday like five years from now i want to be somewhere way better and more more stable than i than i am today you know like probably in my not an apartment but like in my own house you know like goals like that so definitely and if i wanted to be with somebody i would be with somebody but i know who i deserve and i have an image in my head of who i want to be with not like race or preference or like you know physical type none of that because i'm not like that um but there's just there's a man out there that's for me and i know what i deserve and i'm not gonna like settle for anything like i honestly rather be single than deal with bs because like i could easily be with somebody and deal with bs and not be happy or i could just be alone happy and content and keep building myself up this one's funny like okay <laughs> a lot of these are funny you do porn i do not do porn <laughs> i do porn maybe because of like i don't know like how how does that assumption come come like maybe because i post in lingerie but i only do it uh, I only do it to like for like women empowerment like for my ladies I don't do it for like any any like sexual attention or anything like that it's always for my ladies to feel the confidence through the picture or through the post or like what I feel or how I feel or how I feel in lingerie you know maybe because of lingerie but no not a porn star would I be one definitely not an attention seeker um far from it very very far from it um maybe i don't know i don't know how you come to this assumption either like maybe i don't know i don't even know how this assumption would be an attention seeker hmm i, I don't see how i would be an attention seeker <laughs> i don't know i'm, just, I'm, just, I'm myself that you are stuck up definitely not stuck up the most humble person ever anybody who knows me knows that i'm not stuck up there's nothing to be stuck up about i ain't got money i work 12 hours at night for a living um i have nothing to be stuck up about i drive a little car i live in an apartment complex i work hard for my money but i'm never stuck up like i've never ever flaunted to anybody anything that i have and even like if I ever like if I did or if I ever do have like I would I'm just never that person I've never been that person never will be and if I ever do something that seems like that call me out on it because I will fix it real quick but trust me I will never be that person ever in my life I do work very hard for what I have and I don't I don't flaunt it you're a Scorpio no, I'm actually a Gemini, born June 18, birthday's coming up, close to 30, gonna hit that big 29, and the next year, gonna hit that big old 30, so, Gemini. You are rich, girl, where? <laughs> okay, this one, I got a lot of these. You're a really humble, down-to-earth, down kind person. Thank you so much, I love that so many, I got so many of these, like that makes me really, really happy because this is what I always wanna hear. I wanna, I wanna let you guys know that like I'm not here to ramble about like what I have or like this, this, and that. If I do get something, like I like to show you guys, but I don't ever want to come off as like cocky 
or like throw it in your face like never I never ever ever want to come off like that and I never will ever be like that so I love that a lot of you guys assumptions were that that you guys think that I'm kind and like uh, humble and stuff like that's really important to me because like I always want to remain that in your guys eyes a humble kind caring human being that's it all right guys last couple ones you're more towards mukbangs on your YouTube channel now um I'm gonna go through phases like sometimes I will post a lot more of this then sometimes I'll change it up like it'll be my channel is just like a change up of everything not just focusing on one thing but like more of like a variety of things it's like whatever I want to post so like not just it's not it's not gonna be a channel my channel is just not gonna be a channel where it's just this and just this and that's it um so be prepared to see a lot of everything on my channel. The This last one, you'd beat someone's butt if they mess with your daughter. Um, depending how the situation is, yes, if it's a grown person messing with my with my child, I would definitely beat their butt, you know, depending on what the situation looks like. But yeah, for sure. Anybody who's a mom or a parent out there, we would do anything to protect our kids and just make sure that they're happy and that nobody's bothering them or that they're not in a dangerous situation. So yeah, it's just a natural instinct from a parent to protect their kid. But anyways, guys, oh my God, I had so much fun filming this video, reading you guys' assumptions. Um, again, not taking any of these to the heart. Don't worry, I didn't block you. If you made a negative assumption about me, I will not block you. <laughs> I did not block you, so don't worry. These were definitely not taken to the heart. Um, <clears throat> assumptions are not a reality of you. You know what I'm saying? So like why take a lot of these series? So this was just like fun and games. I really enjoyed filming this video for you guys. If you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Leave me down in the comments down below of your opinions and things as such as, you know, of, of that nature <coughs> below for me. Um, let's hang out for a little bit. You guys know that I like to hang out in the comments for a little bit. See what you guys think or say. We could chit chat, have a party. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.